Witam gorąco na moim kanale i zapraszam na kolejny odcinek, drugi z tej serii. Bijmy samotnie, kontynuujmy rozdział drugi w domu ciemności. Zobaczymy co będzie. Aha, to jesteśmy w jakimś domu ciemności, tak? Podnieś. Jakaś fotografia, przyjrzyj się, no cudownie. Klawiatura i komputer, jakby to był ten Macintosh. E, sufit, aha, nadal jest. Znaczy nie ma sufitu. W, sufie, w sumie ciekawe, czy to jest celowe zagranie, czym się gra zwaliła. No zobaczymy. A może to nam się śni na przykład? To to tam wie. O, podnieś. Szklanka herbaty. No czy szklanka? <śmiech> nie no, jak widzę taką szklankę, to robi się herbata, kojarzę. No co zrobię? Nic nie zrobię. Otwórz. Okej. Okay. Co to za schiza jest? Pani kochana. Co tu się dzieje? Koleżanko. Okej. Okay. Czuję się jak w Madison trochę. Tylko, że tam postać widzieliśmy oczami. Ciekawe. Może się zdjęcie zmieniło. Dokładnie. Jakoś podrapana już jesteś. Co to jest? To są jakby czasy teraźniejsze. I co znowu będzie szklanka? Widzimy jakieś różnice w tej szklance? Bo ja nie. Dobra. Mam nadzieję, że tu w szafie nic nie ma ciekawego. Chodźmy zatem dalej. No dobra, trochę się zmienia. Do góry nogami teraz? Spoko. Luz. Damy radę. Niezła schiza. Kogo my gonimy? Samych siebie? No, widzę, że coraz bardziej rozdrapane. Ale tu widzę, że ta szklanka jak tam? Szklanka jest jakby bez zmian. Czyli jak najbardziej się tylko ten to zdjęcie zmienia. I tyle. No i ogólnie wygląd pokoju. Coraz bardziej ciemne się robi. Uuu. Okay. Dobra, chodźmy za to. U, czerwona poświata. To dobrze. Z takim czerwonym to się czuje jak w Alan Wake'u, dwójce. Kurde, swoją drogą nie skończyłem jeszcze tego Alana. A wyszedł taki dodatek. Trzeba chyba będzie wrócić do Alana. W końcu. No ale dobra, nie o tym ta gra. <grych> My idziemy dalej. I co tu nas czeka? Polana jakaś? Ok. Przyciśnij się. No ciśnij się. Dzień dobry. E, no czy się dobry wieczór. Las, jak to las. Telewizor jakiś, o. Tajemnicze dźwięki. Okej. Okay. Dobra, zakładam, że musimy odpalić TV. W 
won't. Okay. Okay. Mom? Mama? What's wrong? Ja myślałem, że na tym zdjęciu to siostra, a to były, była mama? Serio? Oj, oj. Może będzie miała wydrapalne oczy na przykład. Mamo, jestem tutaj. Mama, niech mama spojrzy na mnie. E, wiedziałem. Trzeba przyznać, że grubo było. O, do Anglii lecimy. Dokładnie, weź się w garść, dziewczyno. Co to? Może to są te prochy matki? Ciekawe. O nie, muzyka będzie na licencji. Ale lipa. Rozumiem, że w Anglii się akcja dzieje. Myślałem, że w Stanach. U. Zaraz będziemy wiedzieć, jak będzie kierownica po prawej stronie. To będzie Anglia. I chyba jest. Ale słabo ta droga wygląda. Ale dobra. Ale ogólnie spoko. Zaproszenie. O, zepsuł się jej samochód, tak? Zatrzymajmy się za tym. O! Myślałem, że po prostu się zatrzymamy. Rozumiem, że to był kolejny trudny wybór w tej grze. Kto to jest? Hi! So, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American! Yeah. O, o czym so poznałaś? Po okay. akcencie? Yeah. Może idziecie so, w to samo miejsce przypadkowo. Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Ha, huh, where? That's actually where I'm going too. So it's not out of your way. Uh, guess not. Przeznaczenie zmienione. Postanowiono zabrać autostopowiczkę. Ciekawe co by było, jakbym jej nie zabrał. O coś będą gadać, jak będą jechać? No dokładnie. So both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as you know we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. Oh, Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, oh, and LA. Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them. Ja całe życie w Warszawie I mieszkam. heard it was really nice. <laughs> or kind of uh. shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. Oh, Maddie. Jak Madison. Nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. 
Even if I was worried, you might try to clunk me. Okay. Linda. Uh, sorry. Rozumiem, że to coś ważnego. E, z zaciekawieniem. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I oh. travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Linda is wdzięczna. Okay. Hey. Take a look. Na co? Co my to robimy? I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. W poprzednim odcinku to zdawało mi się, że w Stanach byliśmy, z tego co rozumiem. Dom ciemności. Czy jakoś tak. <grych> o, 2024, dobra. Co, na, na serio uwierzyłaś, uwierzyłaś tej Lindzie, że, że w to samo miejsce jechaliście, tak? Dziwna. Kruszę jest pod wycieraczką. Teraz taki ten lokaj powinien otworzyć jak ten nie, Frankenstein. Maybe nobody's home. Tak, na pewno nikogo nie ma. When I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Okay. Anybody home? Tak, tak. I co? Ktoś pociągnie za klamkę? No, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Proszę bardzo. Otwarte. Go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. Czemu szeptacie? Here we go. Apparently. Oh, normalnie chole jak w tym w rezydencji zła. Jeszcze zombie niech wyskoczy. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello. Przed pokój. Let's take a look around. Dokładnie tak. Um. Hello. We've arrived. Rozejdzie się i znajdź Augustin Lieber. Lieber. Ok. O, jak ładnie cienie działają. Fantastycznie. Warto czasem dla odmiany na PC się pograć. Nie wiem, czy na konsoli też by tak było. Hej. Dobra. O, jaki ładny ten. Pudełko jakieś. Co to? O nie, znowu te... Aha, czyli to... To każdy to zbiera? Co to jest w ogóle? A, jak oni to nazwali? Jakoś to było nazwane śmiesznie. Chyba na górę pójdę. Chyba. Dobra, 
chodźmy na górę. A gdzie ta tamta poszła? Linda. Jak na mój gust. A kto tu w szachy gra? Kurde, ona za mną idzie? Serio? Myślałem, że się jakoś rozdzielimy. O, co to? Kawałek listu. Hmm. Serio? Możesz zabrać to, czy nie? DB, C, DB, BB. Motyw ocalałego. <śmiech> Nuty. No, może będziesz miał okazję zagrać. Się chyba coś świeci. Dobra. Cudowne obrazy. O, może ktoś tu będzie. Do, dobry wieczór. Czemu się tak wycofałaś dziwnie? Otworzyła i się wycofała. Ładnie to wygląda. O, fortepian jest. Dasz radę zagrać? No to za chwilę. Jak są nuty i jest fortepian, to, to pewnie trzeba zagrać, nie? O. Bruno. Bruno Stanford, za każdym dobrym pomysłem kryje się plan, za każdym najlepszym kryje się stan. Ale. Kurde, butelka coli mi strzela. Czeka mnie cierpliwie na obicie tego interesu. Jeśli twoja obietnica jest na serio, jestem pewien, że dziś wieczór będzie wart i twojego i mojego czasu. Do zobaczenia 13 i proszę mów mi stan. PS. Masz numer do którejś z tych czarnych brytyjskich taksówek? Gość, z którym zwykle jeżdżę, jest powiedzmy niedysponowany. Okej. Okay. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. Co tu jeszcze jest ciekawego? O, kurde, ale trochę słaby, bo to słabe jest pod, podświetlone, że my mamy coś ten tutaj podnieść. Mogłoby się bardziej błyskać. Tylko teraz to zauważyłem, że mogę coś tu podnieść, bo mi się odpaliło na, napis w prawej dolnym rogu, że mogę coś podnieść. Taka lipa trochę. E, pani Lieber. Piszę, aby potwierdzić, że zgodnie z pani instrukcjami poprosiłem personel o opuszczenie terenu przed przybyciem naszych gości. Jak pani tam wspomniała pani, że goście to kolekcjonerzy o podobnych do pani zainteresowaniach. Skoro tak, to czy nie byłoby skazane, a nawet pożądane, aby jeden zaufany członek personelu pozostał na stanowisku, aby w razie potrzeby zająć się wszelkimi cennymi przedmiotami? O, jest i druga strona. Zgłaszam się do tego obowiązku i nie uważam go za niegodnego mojego stanowiska. Byłbym bowiem szczęśliwy, mogąc w razie potrzeby zajmować się wszelkimi cennymi przedmiotami w prywatnym relikwiarzu. W razie potrzeby mieszkam niedaleko i zapewniam absolutną dyskrecję. Przez trzy lata służby jako zarządca posiadłości Gerant, Gerant dowodniłem swoją pościągliwość, prawość i niezawodność. Wyczekuję niecierpliwie odpowiedzi. Oddany sługa J.F. Grimes. Ok. Fajnie. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have 
forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Maybe. Widzę, że tu ulubioną tą to jest gra w szachy. Dobra, zobaczmy. Może jakiś. Ja bym. Ja bym to wszedł, to bym sobie te jabłko zjadł na przykład. Może dlatego, że teraz jestem głodny. Oj, oj. To jest jakaś. Jakieś pudełeczko. Ognisko płonie. Dobra, to z tego co widzę. O, mają telefon nawet. To tylko fortepian został do. Obruszania. Dobra, zagraj. I co zagrałaś? Uuu. Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. Ale serio? Zagrała coś na fortepianie. Zakładam, że to co tam w tych nutach znaleźliśmy i się otworzyło automatycznie ten przejście i, i nic. Żadnego tego nie zrobił on wrażenia. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah. It's a little odd. Oh god. This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. We've been invited here for a reason. And I don't think it's so our host can wear our faces as leather masks. Na pewno. That's super comforting. Dobra, czyli rozumiem, bo ja myślałem, że ona to idzie w sprawie jakiegoś spadku czy coś. No to rozumiem, że ona są obie jakimiś kolekcjonerkami, tak? Zresztą, może się dowiemy niedługo. I czemu jesteśmy w Anglii, jak zaczynaliśmy w Stanach? Chyba, że to będą jakieś dwie równoległe historie. Nie mam pojęcia jeszcze. Ale się może dowiemy. O, coś mamy do otwarcia, nawet nie wiedziałem. Okej. Okay. Jesteśmy co? Tam na parterze? Okej. Okay. Kolejna lalka. Hmm. Łowczyni, kołysanka, którą słychać w ciemnym lesie. Relikt. W sumie fajnie by było, jakby takie ten figurki sprzedawali oddzielnie w realu. Kupiłbym sobie taką figurkę. <grym> I co, tyle? N nie poczytasz tu nic? Okej. Okay. Dobra, chodźmy dalej. I... Gdzie my jesteśmy? Ta? Okej, okay, tu się da otworzyć. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Uh, 
na luzie. Z zainteresowaniem weźmy. O. Stan, that wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your back and call. But only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is Lynn de Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Bruno Stanford the third. Only if you call me Stan. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon, transcendent. Blood on the brain, mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean. Yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope, just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. Okay, Rodejo się oczekując na Augustin Lieber. But it involves money and fast cars and trading. But nothing illegal. Obviously. Oh, obviously. Epos o Gilgameszu. Otwórz. Panie Gilgamesz. A bit of light bedtime reading. Oj, chyba nie, nikt nie oczekuje, że ja to będę czytał. Tablicza, tabliczka piąta. Zabicie Humbaby. Przyjacielu mój Humbaba, strażnik lasu w Miel, zabij, rozgnieć i zniszcz go. Nim usłyszy nas wielki Bóg Elil. Bo bogowie są już rozwścieczeni. Elil jest w Nipurze. Szamasz jest w Siparze. Postaw na wielki posąg głoszący, jak Gilgamesz zabił Humbabę. Hmm, to są ci Anunnaki? E, Elil i tak dalej. Zbudowali tratwę Enkidu stanął w steru. Gilgamesz zatrzymał łeb Humbaby. Enkidu. To mi się tak kojarzy z tym. Z no, z tą, z tą, z tą, właśnie. E, kurde, już zapomniałem. Dopisek, czytaj uważnie. Norman przyjrzy się dobrze, co Enkidu, Enkidu mówi Gilgameszowi. Przejrzał prośby Humbaby o łagodność. Rozumiał, że oszczędzanie demona zniweczy uczciwe zdobyte zwycięstwo naszego bohatera że tylko brutalna demonstracja wzbudzi zamęt wśród obserwujących ich bogów. W pościgu za chwałą nie ma miejsc na litość. Niebio niebiosa nie otworzą się dla czempiona pełnego zahamowań. Anunnaki, Sumerowie. <grym> Pomyślę, że naszą Biblię czy coś tam Pismo Święte wzorowali właśnie na wierzeniach, znaczy sumerów i tak dalej. A my to łykamy, że to jest no, pisane przez nas, a to Kościół sobie wzięli co, co chcieli i przepisali po swojemu. E, dobra. Możemy z kimś pogadać, cokolwiek? Cały czas 
w szachy tu grają. Co za ludzie. O, co to? Pociągnij. Ha. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. O, ośmieli się wejść do morderczej huty. Ciekawe. Hey, either of you heard of murder mail? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time the audience flew into a rabid murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Ta. Byliśmy tam. Widzieliśmy. Policjant przeżył. U. Prąd się załączył. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am taking the theatrics. Przynajmniej widno się zrobiło. Linda. Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. Mm. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, Na pisze. Sure, yeah. I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? No thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. I co to będzie? Co to będzie? Droga pani. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, mm. isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. Takie szklance nalane okay? jak we śnie yeah, widzieliśmy. No, it's, it's nothing. Dokładnie. Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. 
So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. Tak. Co to biega? I... I... I never knew what it was from. Mm. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. I co, włożymy film w całość? Czy jak? What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? Co ty kobieta masz za przeszłość? Again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. Uh, Pani Zamek, <laughs> Castle, Chicago. Is that her? We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. A po co go budzić, kobieta? Ciekawe. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our Okay. Wciskamy, wciskamy, Stefan. Okay. No, no, no. My sister. Oh God. Sister. Wonder if too much, Anio. No, je. And you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice. Uh, bezradnie. I can't believe it's come to this. But the resistance is. To wygląda tak jakby jak ktoś film teraz kręcił po prostu. I wygląda jakby to nie było w 2024, bo ma stary zegarek elektroniczny. Znowu pewnie jakiś 1980 albo coś. Chyba, że się mylę. Zapomniał tekstu. Nie? Nie no serio, mi się wydaje, jakby to film kręcił ktoś. Znaczy, wiadomo, że ktoś kręci, nie, ale chodzi mi o ogólnie, że... że zaraz będzie, że koniec ujęcia i takie tam. Cut. 
<śmiech> widziałem, kurde. Widziałem. Take my sister? That's not in the script, man. I was just like really feeling the moment, you know? Thought I'd bring a little bit of that method acting magic. Well, maybe like ask me next time, okay? Okay, sure. Sorry, Chris. Every word I write into a script is important, Jaime. Every word. Each and every last little syllable. I get it. I get it. A skąd ja wiedziałem, jaki scenariusz jest? Is that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little super eights. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. That's just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Linda, must you show us your director? Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so. Seriously. Cool. Da, wszystki sobie ten. Yeah, but like. Przeciwko sobie nastawiam. Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way. Now we do it my way. Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Oh, it's like spearmint. Cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. <laughs> you guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody, back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay. Sound speeds. Um, uh, camera speeds. All right. Everybody, settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? Police. Just in the middle of a tape. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Oh, Pani Castle? Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Czyli to są jakby znowu jakieś, tak jak przypuszczałem, jakieś 1980, 70. Jak ona taka młoda jest? Okej. Okay. Przepraszająco oczywiście. Oh man, sir, we're really sorry. We we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. Oh, na pewno. Whoa, 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 hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to clean up. Tak. Uh, rozczarowanie. 
Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. Dokładnie. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Mm, Sokie wygrabna dupcia. Really? Z tej pani we can figure była. out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Ale trzeba przyznać, że twarze postaci są dosyć mm, budżetowe. Porównując dokonania tej jakby tego, tych programistów, wydawcy. Until Dawn miał dużo ładniejsze twarze. Dobra, jak gdzieś dojadą czy coś, to kończymy ten odcinek. Okay, czyli teraz jesteśmy z powrotem w tej hucie. Czyli ten szeryf to musi być ten policjant z pierwszego odcinka. A awansował widocznie. Musiało minąć parę lat. Ale to i tak wygląda mi na jakieś lata 70. Czyli będziemy tak się cofać w czasie. Ciekawe. O, widzę, że te ślady po samolotach. Hemtrace. <grych> o. 1980. No, tak mniej więcej obstawiałem. Osiemdziesiąty. Kopciuch. A samochód tak sobie wygląda. Przynajmniej tak jechał. Dziwnie. Bez fizyki jakiejś. I oni co tu mieszkają? Okej. Okay. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. <laughs> and you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Okay. Do Chiknivia. Who are the victims? Just people 
Some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like... What if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kinda spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kinda shit out of luck. <laughs> Oh, no, but no, but I don't know. You want a piece of me, too? To to jest siostra? Empatycznie. Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. His mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to drown me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry. Kurde, I, no, just no, just no, just no, no, I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? Why? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Uh, 20. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry, we'll put it to good use. Ładna ta siostra, nie powiem. You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? 
What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Dobra, kiedy będzie jakiś safe? Dobra, weźmy bibeloty, no. Why not? I certainly am curious. Dobra, poszedł safe. Dojdziemy tylko do tego sklepu i, i kończę. Otóż prawie godzina odcinka, kurde. Dobra, to może tak zróbmy. Save był, więc w teorii powinniśmy od tego momentu zacząć następny odcinek w przyszłym tygodniu prawdopodobnie. Postaram się jakby znowu w piątek, a jak się uda, to jakoś może w środku tygodnia kolejny, co by jakby... Wydaje mi się, że raz w tygodniu no tą grę jest za rzadko. Przydałoby się przynajmniej dwa odcinki w tygodniu, jak nie trzy, no ale <grym> powiedzmy, że przynajmniej, żeby dwa, dwa odcinki były w tygodniu. Na pewno będzie w piątek następny, a może się uda jakoś we wtorek, środę może. Zobaczymy jak będzie. W każdym razie dzięki za obejrzenie tegoż odcinka i zapraszam gorąco na pewno w piątek na kolejny odcinek albo na coś innego na moim kanale. Dzięki jeszcze raz za obejrzenie. Hej.